Hello students, in the last video we have discussed the phylum that is Cylindrata or Nidaria. Today we are going to start the next phylum after Cylindrata is the Tinophora. So Tinophora earlier in the earlier classification, in the previous classification it was given the same uh, phylum that is under cylindrates the dinophores were also included but now due to various changes a number of changes or differences are been seen actually because of that now the modern uh, scientists they have completely separated that phylum in the animal kingdom and now we have the third phylum that is dinophora first of all we'll see their general characters so what are the general characters? First character is about their habit and habitat. So what is about their habitat? See, unlike the phylum Porifera and Cylindrates, what happened mostly they were marine and in that phylum some freshwater species were there also. In the phylum Porifera, Sponzilla was a free swimming organism, free, uh, sorry, freely they are, uh, found in the freshwater condition and in the cylindrates too hydra was the species who live in the freshwater condition but in case of phylum tinophora there is no species live in the freshwater condition what is that the habitat this is exclusively marine only that means they live only in the marine condition no species even a single species is not found in the freshwater condition okay remember that this is the first difference from the cylindrates now the next characteristic next characteristics about their body structure or body form so what is happening in case of the phylum tinophora the species they actually have eight rows of complaints in the body surface see first of all suppose this is the tinophora they appear round spherical just like a ball and on the body surface that means above they will have eight rows of complaints like this they will have some plate like structures one two three four five six seven eight suppose so in that species, you are going to find eight rows of comb plates means above they are going to have cilia in the form of a comb and this is nothing but the locomotory organ. So that cilia are actually arranged in a line and that will include that species having eight rows of comb plates. So what is happening in this group of animal, they are going to have 8 rows of complaints. So very much important, remember this is important, that they are going to have 8 rows of complaints. Now the next characteristic, see what happened in the organism. Some organisms are here like Pleurobrachia. This is one species like Pleurobrachia, Pleurobrachia and number of other species they are also going to have the same character. What is that? Along with the eight rows of complaints they are also going to have two long tentacles see this is actually some solid structures those solid structures they are present on the aboral surface now what is aboral and oral surface aboral surface means this organism opposite to the mouth that means the organism where the mouth is present that is oral surface and opposite to the mouth that surface is known as aboral surface so in the aboral surface we are going to find that solid tentacles and that tentacles they are include they are actually present inside inside that body it's not like that on the surface it is hanging and maybe sometime it is possible it can be detached no they are present inside the tentacle cavity they are solid so remember these are the tentacles these tentacles are solid which is present inside the tentacle cavity now they are going to have this eight rows of complete on the body surface that is common to all of the tenophores but yes some of the organism 
most of the organism will have tentacles but some of the organism don't have the tentacle and if that organism have the tentacle the number will be always two that means the tentacle if present will be always two now this organism uh, this organism is completely uh, actually uh, it's glass like that means light can pa pass through this organism so that's why this organism appear transparent remember it appears transparent this is the next important character and the third character is in case of them if present if present two tentacles will be present so if the uh, organism have tentacle those tentacles will be present on the oral surface and this whole organism is transparent but yes those tentacles they are actually solid structures and remember what is the function of that tentacle that tentacle helps this organism to catch the food so how it will able to catch the food because of a specific cell so in this tentacle they are going to have a specific cell actually it's not present like that then throughout the tentacle this will be present so they have a specific cell here what is that cell this is known as coloplast and this can be also called as lasso cells so these are lasso cells or coloblast which is present on the tentacle which helps this organism to capture the food so that is about their body form now next next characteristics third characteristics we are going to see that is about their body symmetry so how if you see this organism what type of symmetry would you think that what type of symmetry it will be present see this organism will have radial symmetry that organism can be divided into many planes many planes can be uh, can be possible pass through this midpoint or uh, that organism is radially symmetrical simply remember next characteristics about their germ layer so how many germ layers are present see this is the very much important point that their germ layer is two like the cylindrates so cylindrates are diploblastic this organism is also diploblastic remember this is also diploblastic but unlike the cylindrates cylindrates have outer ectoderm inner endoderm and in the middle they have the mesoglia or the mesenchyme but in case of tenophores the ectoderm and endoderm are present but the middle jelly like matrix mesoglia contains some different type of cells what type of cells are present see the specific cell present in the mesoglia so the mesoglia have a totipotent cell that actually have uh, the irregular surface area like a amoeba so they are known as amoebocyte so a specific cell is present which have irregular surface area amoebocyte they are present in the jelly like matrix non cellular layer that is mesoglia along with that they will have the smooth muscle cell smooth muscle cell that is present in that mesoglia which have some uh, jelly like matrix that jelly like matrix contain those cells so loosely aggregated some cells are present are found they get more and more thicker now as compared to the cylindrates in case of tenophores they are becoming more and more thicker so earlier in cylindrates the jelly like matrix was a little bit thinner or more liquid now in the tenophores they are going to have a comparatively thicker mesoglia which contain the amoebocyte and the smooth muscle cell now the next characteristics the fifth characteristics about their coelom do this organism should have coelom no this organism do not have coelom why as simple as that this organism are diploblastic so diploblastic organism will be always a coelomate why because coelom the body cavity have to form from the germ layer third germ layer that is mesoderm mesoderm is absent in this tenophore so that's why this organism is 
also a silomate. So this organism do not have any body cavity. They will have a large gastrovascular cavity where the digestion first type of digestion would take place. So the next type of next character C this says about their digestion. So first thing, like the cylindrates, they are going to have the same type of digestion. That means, first of all, in the gastrovascular cavity, suppose with the help of the coloblasts present in the tentacle, they catch, uh, catch or capture the probe, uh, predator, sorry, prey. So once they catch the prey, then after that, it takes inside their mouth. And after that, in the large gastrovascular cavity, first of all, they will have uh, extracellular digestion. But once they are broken down by the enzymatic activity into some smaller particle, then after that, they will have intracellular digestion. Once they are partially digested in the gastrovascular cavity, then after that, the cells will take this, uh, take this partly digested food particle and inside the cells actually further digestion will be taken place by some intracellular enzymatic activity. So about the digestion this is both extracellular this is both extracellular as well as intracellular so they are going to have extracellular type of digestion as well as intracellular digestion. Now in this organism what type of body plan is there? See the next characteristic seventh characteristic C about their body plan. What type of plan is present? Do this organism have opening? Yes, I told that these tentacles are present on the aboral surface. That means oral surface where they have an opening, mouth is present. But that opening serving both as a mouth as well as anus as well as a anus. So they are going to have a sac like structure that is gastrovascular cavity where the digestion will take place and after that the waste product excretory product that will be also removed from the same uh, opening that is the mouth. So what is about their body plan? Body plan is blind sac. In case of them this organism is going to have blind sac body plan where incomplete digestive system is there. Obviously they are going to have blind Side body plan because their opening through which actually they're taking uh, the food particles also and remove the waste particles uh, also. So that same opening is serving both as a mouth as well as a anus. So that is about their body plan that is blind sac body plan. Next characteristics. The next characteristics see about their physiology. In case of their physiology the respiration process, circulation process or excretion process. This is absent. In case of them, they don't have respiration, they don't have circulation or they don't have excretion. Digestion is going on. The normal process, circulation, excretion, respiration, for them, they don't have any type of specific organs. They are going to have normal, simple diffusion with the help of what they take the gas, remove the gas. So, uh, respiration, then circulation, then excretion. So in case of them, respiration, circulation, excretion, they are absent. But yes, in case of them, there is a type of nervous system. What is the type of nervous system? That is diffused type of nervous system. Remember, diffused type of nervous system is found. So remember this diff diffuse type of nervous system don't think that their level of organization will be organ system. No, they're going to have the same level of organization. So what is the level of organization? Level of organization is same as the cylindrates that is tissue level of organization that means in case of them they are going to have only cells those cells will be organized to function a pref uh, function specialize into a function that means now they are developing the tissues this organism have tissue level of organization now about their physiology their respiration circulation excretion these things are absent but yes 
in case of nervous system see about their body plan what a body uh, structures what i have said here about their uh, germ layer that their diploblastic mesoglia was the jelly like matrix remember in the mesoglia they have the neural cells that means apolar type of neurons those apolar type of neuron actually have uh, some connections along it, uh, the neurons are present one after another and that form diffuse type of nerve net so uh, nervous system is there they are sensitive to the external stimuli so this is diffuse type of nervous system present yes in case of them a specific type of balancing organ is present what is the type of balancing organ see a cell is present that is steatocyst so this steatocyst is a balancing cell so this balancing cell is present in the body so that it can balance the organism with the help of actually steatosis they can understand they can actually balance the oral and aboral surface they are generally they with the help of the complex they can freely swim in the sea water and in that you will see a very unique characteristics that is bioluminescence now what is bioluminescence bio means living luminescence luminescence means this organism is going to emit light in the night so what happened they do not produce the light they will just absorb the light and whenever it is necessary they will uh, actually we can able to see in the night only they have the power of emitting light so they have this power of bioluminescence so uh, remember uh, one movie was there that was um, life of pi where uh, irfan khan went on a uh, island where he actually was able to see a lot of some bulbs some lightning things around that um, island what was this actually those are tinophores tinophores they're nothing but they have the power of luminescence that means now they can emit light they can emit light so remember that point now after that come to the last point that is reproduction so after that let us move to the reproduction what type of reproduction is present see first of all unlike the cylindrates in the cylindrates what you have found that they can perform sexual reproduction as well as asexual reproduction but in case of the uh, tinophores they don't have this characteristics that means they don't have the asexual type of reproduction they will always perform sexual reproduction only that means they are going to have only sexual reproduction they do not undergo any fragmentation or budding next important characteristics that is they are hermaphrodite so what is hermaphrodite hermaphrodite means this organism is going to have this organism is going to have the sep, um, uh, the same organism same species can release both the two types of gametes that is male gamete as well as the female gamete so they can release male gamete as well as female gamete from the same organism and they release it into the water so that's why what type of fertilization will be seen the fertilization will be external that means they will release the gamete uh, in the water and in the water fertilization would take place so they are going to have external fertilization what about the development development is indirect remember in them there is a specific type of uh, organism that is a larva is present and that larva is sidepid larva remember the larva is sidepid so this is about the phylum tinophore one very important thing i'm going to tell you now why on the earlier part what we have seen that in case of cylindrates they were also known as nidaria or in case of the cylindrates what was present one specific cell was present that was nidoblast which encloses the nematocyst which can release the toxin hypnotoxin with the help of the thread tube i told i have given the diagram but here what happened in case of tinophores tinophores are also known as a 
Nidaria. Why they are called as anidarians? Because in case of them, their body do not have that specific cell nidoblast. As they lack the nidoblast, that's why they are known as the uh, anidarians also. Cylindrates are also known as nidarians. Now the tinophores, they are also known as the uh, anidarians. So that is about the characteristics of, of the phylum tinophora. That is about the whole uh, tinophores, how it differ from the cylindrates. First thing, they lack this nidoblast. Second thing, mesoglia is different from the cylindrates. Third thing, in case of them, they are exclusively marine. No organism can be present in the freshwater condition. And the last one that is about their uh, <clears throat> the, uh, reproduction, type of reproduction that unlike the cylindrates, in case of tinophores, only sexual reproduction is present. So that is about the phylum tinophora. Thank you.